Good evening. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Looking live at San Jose tonight, we're getting a closer look into the VTA shooter's life at work and home from newly released personnel files. It's been one month since the rail yard tragedy. KPI XY's Marie Medina dug through the documents and joins us live in San Jose. Maria? And Liz, there's been no clear motive as to why Cassidy opened fire in the first place, but his personnel files give us insight into the months leading up to the shooting. And it sounded just like a gun? Oh, it's a gun. How many shots were fired? Uh, at least 10 or 15, and people were screaming. Exactly four weeks after the Bay Area's deadliest mass shooting. Hey, Travis, this is SA5. I'm about to pull the yard now. Yeah, don't pull in. There's a, uh, somebody shooting a gun. The VTA released nearly 100 pages of Samuel Cassidy's personnel files, shedding more light into his behavior at work and some of what he dealt with in his private life. <laughs> before he opened fire on his colleagues, killing nine while sparing others. The VTA documents on Cassidy include this 2008 written counseling, which is one step before a written warning, after Cassidy missed 11 days of work in a one-year period. In 2005, Cassidy failed to report to his supervisors every two weeks while on temporary disability for knee surgery and was warned he could be terminated. In 2019, a memo in Cassidy's file explains the 57-year-old refused to sign out his portable radio after multiple requests, leading to charges of insubordination. Cassidy missed work here and there in the last couple of years, including last August when he explained his absence was for father emergency. Uh, active shooter upstairs, third floor, building A. Personnel files released two weeks ago paint a picture of possible growing tension at work. A co-worker stated, he scares me. If someone was to go postal, it'd be him. He'd also gotten into a verbal altercation with a co-worker, refused to attend a mandatory CPR class, had an unexcused absence, and inappropriately used his radio. Despite his behavior, no other intervention or disciplinary action was taken against Cassidy. Someone's shooting right outside the door. And remember, Cassidy set his home on fire the morning of the shooting. We went there today. It is boarded up, and his neighbors say no one has been there since that shooting. Live in San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.